Okay, I'm playing Bubble Bobble on NES. Uh, it's 1988 Taito America Corp. Licensed by Nintendo. Um, I used to like Bubble Bobble back in the day, and there's a Neo Geo version. I was having a little bit of trouble getting it to work earlier. So, uh, same with Alien. Um, I was trying to play Aliens, uh, the arcade game, but that didn't work either. Okay, so... Ah, cool. Okay. So, I need to shoot these guys. Alright! Okay, so then... What, what do they turn into fruit? Okay, so then you can eat them. Cool. So I remember Bubble Bobble, Bubble Bobble was like, um, you know, you shoot the, it's a puzzle, so it's kind of like Candy Crush, really, not Candy Crush, but it's like a puzzle game where you shoot the bubbles with little dragons. I always thought that was so much fun. Just a mindless game. This reminds me of Dig Dug a little bit. Oh, he got me. I, I shot him, but he got me. Take that evil enemy. Okay, go down. So, ah, okay, so it didn't let me get it. Let's see. Oh! Let me get him. There he goes. Like that. Oh, oh no! It's a little dicey because you don't really know where they're gonna go. Okay, he's going straight up. No! Okay, got him. Ah! Oh no! Game over. Okay, so I'll start over. I'll I'll start over here. It's a hard game. First level is like surprisingly easy. This is gonna be an addicting one, I can tell. Ah! Now that I have a little bit of experience, you all have no chance. Delicious. Cute little iguana dragon. Is going to. Okay, so now. Oh no! I didn't jump correctly. Got it. Gotta kill him. Take that. Oh, and the last one gets all mad and crazy. So this is a little bit more. Ah! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna play again. So, folks, I haven't played this before. You know, you're you're on my channel. I go into these things cold. I don't practice like a billion hours and then record it. Um, I know some I, I was I was um on Twitch and you know there's like a million ninja gaiden um Twitch episodes where they, people are like, oh, I'm gonna beat it without dying, you know, fast play, and, um, that's all well and good, it isn't terribly fun though to go through the same game like a billion times, so I really like to explore different games, that being said, long plays are a, they're science, and it, it's all, it's a lot of it's memorization, um, and, uh, long plays are fine, uh, they aren't particularly relaxing to me, so, I, I'll do some long plays of games I really like, I did one of, um, uh, I did one of Turtles in Time, I love that game, and, um, I absolutely, you know, I absolutely would do that again, I, I want to play, uh, um, the Sega Genesis version, which is Hyperstone Heist, I still haven't beaten that one yet, but, those are fun, you know, like, kind of shorter plays, but the one, you know, some of these games take forever to beat, you know, so, um, long plays, they have their place, 
and I really like goofing around and just trying different things. So I'm going to die a little bit, but I'm going to show you some games you may not have seen uh, recently. They're not super popular, or people may have forgotten about them. Like, I've got a huge NES library that I'm going to explore. I played Gilligan, Gilligan's Island recently, and um, I did really, really bad on that because I, honestly, I lost Gilligan, and I had no idea um, what I was supposed to do until I wasted all my health and I talked to... Um, all the people on the island are like, where's Gilligan? Where's Gilligan? So then I, I realized, oh, I gotta go back and get Gilligan. And, you know, he, uh, he really screwed the pooch. So I may revisit that one. I don't know. I may not. But I re oh, he got me still. What I may want to do is play uh, in that game type. I may want to play Roger Rabbit. So, oh my gosh. I, I'm lucky. Look at that. That was kind of the same playing style as uh, Gilligan's Island. But it also had, um, it had more of a, I thought Roger Rabbit was like a lot of er room for error. Gilligan's Island, man, if you don't, if you don't know what you're going to do, if you don't know what you're supposed to do, you're going to die, like, immediately. It's really hard to hit the enemies, at least in Roger Rabbit, you know, um, whoa. At least in Roger Rabbit, it, you kind of figure what you're supposed to do based on the, the storyline in the movie, the plot. But even there, it's it's trial and error. So you go to the same shop like multiple times to get items. Um, so I may start strategy guiding some of these. Uh, I'm not really at that point yet because I'm just doing it to get away from the stresses of work. So like this is a lot of fun right now. But sitting there for like six hours being a game, that to me is almost worse than work. <laughs> so um, that being said, uh, I like to play games um, cold. And, uh, I hope you all enjoy watching. It seems like some people do. You know, I'm getting some subscribers. Oh, this guy's look how fast he's going. Take that! So, um, oh, okay, so you don't die. You just go to the next what stage of my own. There are a lot of retro game channels. Like, I want to try newer stuff, too. Um, I just haven't gotten to the... I'm try I have so much old stuff that I haven't gotten to the new stuff yet. And by new stuff, I mean like 2010 and on, not even like brand new stuff. Uh, and the only Game Boy Game Boy games that I've played, like old Game Boy, is... This is kind of a tough level. Is a classic Tetris, or no, I think that may have been the, S the NES version. And then I played Mario Land, and uh, Mario Land, I was gonna beat it, but there are, s I think I'm kind of close actually, somebody was telling me that I'm not that far away, but there's so many levels um, that are kind of monotonous that I gave it a break, and then I started playing, um, I really like ROM hacks. Really like ROM hacks. They're fun because you know you can go to a classic game and have a totally different story. Like there's a Chrono Trigger ROM hack, but I haven't started that yet. Chrono Trigger is no easy game, and I would what I would do is I would do like a ton of save states, and I would kind of just like take my time with it. Oh no! What, what's going on? How do I get? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Are you kidding me? Look at that. See, that's that's. Okay, see. So like that. Um. So I would be doing save states, I wouldn't be doing that all in one sitting. I also have some other content I want to work on, like videos and animations. It depends on how much time I have, like, so production of a gameplay is a lot easier than doing an animation. And I was looking at some of the animations on, on YouTube. Um, you know, depending on how productive an animator is, you're not going to get a lot of content at all, no matter how fast you work, especially if you're a single person shop, so that's like backup stuff for me. I tried to create um, channels that were totally animation based, and it was so much work, and people just weren't responding because like, the amount of time it takes to create an animation as a single person, um, and then based on current events, it was not um, working out for me that well, so I just kind of was having trouble getting subscribers, and, uh, and I, I went to something a little bit easier, and, and this is a lot more fun for me because animation is like straight up work. It's a lot of work, it's hard, it's time consuming, you know, you can, um, you can really spend, like, all day doing that stuff, like, there's a, 
and, and this isn't 100% professional, like, you can tell he does it all the time, but there's a channel called The Fox in Space, and his stuff is pretty good, so he's got a, uh, um, he's got, like, a noir-style Star Fox story, um, and it's, it's really good, but even there, you can tell that he just, he's, like, overwhelmed with just animating one episode, um, because he's had... He's had Patreon episodes where he'll just sit there and, like, animate for 12 hours straight. Not, of course, until live. And, of course, I'm not going to watch all that. But a lot, of, a lot of these animation folks will put stuff up. And they will um, put up their, their development process. Ow! Okay, so that's it. I think I'm going to move on to another game. I'm not going to start over on this because I got pretty far. But um, that's Bubble Bobble NES. A little different than the other game but hey if you enjoyed watching try it for yourself it's a lot of fun um thanks for watching feel free to like subscribe and share and uh, i'll come out with some more content